What is the team management profile? Well, this is a framework used to assess individual preferences with regard to work assignments or roles assumed within the team context. And it does this through a question and answer format. Basically, it's a 64 question uh, forced choice instrument that assesses your preferences along four key criteria, relationships, information, decisions, and organizational structure. And they use these results to score you and map you along a management wheel or team management wheel, which basically shows your preference for a specific type of work within the organization. Now, what are the under underlying assumptions to this approach. Well, it assumes that work preferences are important to people, that people want to practice what they prefer, that you're more efficient or better at practicing the things you prefer, and if you can't secure whatever work preferences you have, that you'll move on to different work or different jobs. Now, with that being said, individuals are measured along several key criteria. Are you extroverted or introverted in how you carry out your work? Are you more practical or are you more creative? Uh, are you influenced more by analysis or intuition and beliefs? And then are you more prone to structure or do you like a flexible work environment? Now, based upon these, you can be identified as preferring any of a number of eight roles. Uh, the first role is that of advisor. This is the person who goes out and assembles information and brings it back together so that you can uh, assess options for making a decision or approaches to a given situation or problem. Then there's the innovating role, and this is where you take all that information and you come up with ideas about how you're going to proceed towards a goal, objective, or task. What are you going to, what are you going to pursue? Uh, the promoting function generally looks at all the available options and approaches available towards a given situation or scenario and endorses one or promotes one, that is, becomes a voice of support behind one given course of action over another. Uh, the developing role seeks to take whatever the intended course of action is and make it a reality, come up with concrete plans for how you could actually achieve whatever goal or objective you have with the course of action you're proposing. The organizing function tends to organize this once again into uh, concrete activities, roles, tasks, functions. It comes up with a solid plan for carrying out this and actually has some, oftentimes has milestones or, or accomplishments identified or mapped out as part of the process. The producing role or, or concluder is one who actually carries out the plan of action, one who's more into doing or effectuating the plan. The inspecting role is that more of the controlling function, that is, you review after the fact to see what went right, what went wrong, what were the outputs. You measure the results and how effective or ineffective it was. Maintaining is one who monitors the status quo and makes certain that things remain consistent after the fact, so it's more of a continued management uh, uh, maintenance role. And then there's the linking function, which is shared by all the members where you are inter uh, linking individuals ideas throughout this process and having a continuous feedback so that the process continues to improve in, in, uh, in a circular motion or fashion. So with that being said, these are the nine essential team activities and the roles that you can assume within the team management profile.